Good morning. Good to see everyone. In Luke 22, when the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table. And he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. After taking the cup, he gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among you. For I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And then he took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to them saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus gives us all the information that we need in these statements. We remember the Last Supper as I do, as, as Leonardo da Vinci's table with six disciples on each side of Jesus. Not really a table, just a low-lying piece of furniture they actually reclined on the floor. And that's my image of the Last Supper. But what is our image of finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. What is that image for us? I'm going to give you my thoughts, thoughts that came to me this week. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast of the kingdom of God. This is the grand banquet parable. And Jesus replied, A certain man was preparing a great banquet, this will be Jesus preparing this banquet, and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, come, for everyone is now re everything is now ready. But the all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I just bought a field, and I must go and check on it. Another said, I just bought five yoke of oxen, and I'm on my way to try them out. Still another said, I just got married so I can't come. The servant came back and reported this to the master. The owner of the house became very angry and ordered his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant, go out to the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. This parable talks about the Jews being invited, many refused, and then he opened it up to the Gentiles. But this feast is for all of us. Everyone in the room, everyone in the world has been invited. This invitation is almost 2,000 years old. There's a time limit on this invitation. If there's anyone here that has not accepted that invitation, you need to do it today. The world chaos tells us that time is running out. We are in the end times. But Jesus invited us all to be there. If you look at Revelations, the elders say, well, who will be at this table? And the comment is, all those in white robes because their sins have been washed away by the blood of the Lamb. So that's the feast that I want to be at. That's the feast that you want to be at. When the doors close, there'll be gnawing and growling and wailing on the other side of that door. Let us pray. Father God, we do remember your son and the last supper that he participated in, but we are more excited about this great feast that we can be participants of as we partake of this bread of life that represents Jesus' body that he gave for us, let us remember all that you've taught us. In Jesus' name, amen.
Let's pray for the cup. Father God, this cup, the cup that your son asked to be taken away from him, and yet he did your will. This cup that represents his blood that he shed, this blood from the lamb that washes away our sins, that gives us white robes for that festival and that great feast. Please forgive us, dear Father. Help us to remember what your Son has done for us and the sacrifice he made. In Jesus' name, amen. take this time in our service to give back to God a portion of what he has given us. A portion of what we give back is more than what the world makes on an average. We give back more than they make for their entire income. We have many blessings and many missions that we do. Of course, the Children of Hope, we've been talking about after our teenagers got back, we have the Hope Medical Clinic that we support. Uh, we had the Blue Door that we help with. We have the Indian Mission with widows that receive sewing machines and goats for sustenance. So Chip will bring up the goat, the greatest of all goats. Any children or adults that want to come contribute to the uh, mission in India, you can come up and we'll take those. Let us pray. Father God, you have told us that whatever we give, you will outgive us. And we sometimes don't believe that. But you are good to us, and you do love us, and you're here with us. And we know that your plan that you have is being unfolded as we watch. Please take these gifts, these offerings for your kingdom here. In Jesus' name, amen. 